loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess Galaxandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, and it is an honor again to sit with you today and to shuffle cards, to pull charts, and to let you know what is that, what is that you can expect energetically for this week ahead. I do want to start off by saying that this is going to be a pick a card reading. I'll be merging a lot more of my intuition into these readings um, this week and not relying so much on the astrological chart. While I'm getting these cards uh, ready for you guys, I do want to say that this is one of those weeks that is pretty energetically tough. I don't ever want to come on to YouTube or Instagram or wherever in the world, in my friend's house, in your house, in my house, and lie to you and tell you that there aren't challenging aspects, but I believe and I have been shown over time that if you know how to work with the energy of the planets, you can make them work for you and not against you. And everything, I really feel called to say this, that everything that is occurring is in accordance to divine alignment, that the universe itself does everything to create harmony, to create balance. I just heard the word sustenance. Everything that is happening, naturally occurring, is there to sustain you, to help you to thrive, to nur nurture you, to nourish you. But sometimes as human beings, when we don't understand the chaos of it all, we can begin to panic. We start to question ourselves. We start to question uh, divine timing. We start to question how things are occurring because logically it doesn't make sense. If you give yourself the space to breathe, if you give yourself the time for your spirit to settle, you will have clarity unlike any other. And that's what divine wants to give to you every single day. I just heard, this is what we want to restore back into your spirit. It's not that it's ever been taken away from you. It's the truth, it's the knowledge that sometimes is um, overlooked or eclipsed by things that are happening the chaos that is happening in our external environments that if we are not careful it will get into our internal environment and create dysfunction disease discomfort and those types of things so um normally you guys i would be pulling the chart and relying a lot more heavily on astrology but as you guys know if you're part of the bahati vibe tribe i've been on a, a bit of a retreat a goddess retreat an energetic goddess retreat to connect more with spirit um not that I haven't been, but just to deepen that connection and allow myself to be restored. And Spirit has given me wonderfully permission to continue to shuffle for you guys and to serve you guys in this way. Um, at first it was uncomfortable for me because I'm used to being of service in one specific way. I'm a Virgo, as you guys know, I get dragged on the internet because I always say that I'm a Virgo. Um, but yeah, I get dragged a little bit for you know saying that, but the thing is, is that I'm so accustomed to showing up in one way, um, but I'm also very open to shifting and changing in a way that best serves. And the moral, the goals of Bahati life, I've always said, is to be in service to others and the divine. And that's, if whatever that looks like is what I will do um, while spirit is protecting me. So we are gonna be doing a pick a card reading most likely, I feel probably because people gravitate towards it and people love it. So spirit recognizes that and acknowledges it and has given me permission to honor that space um, and to give you know authentic quality messages to you guys when it comes to that. I realize that these readings sometimes can be a little energetically. Woo! Oh, I'm so sorry if you guys have headphones in. <laughs> um, but I realize that these readings sometimes can be a bit um, energetically a lot, you know, I'm realizing lately that my messages are not even just like light sometimes as much as they are soul, soul healing. And I appreciate that about myself, but, um, if you can really take the time out to, you know, ground yourself to sit and center yourself before receiving this reading, as far as what your message, your soul needs to receive for this week, whatever it is that you are watching this video. Um, okay. So that being said, I have three crystals that I have chosen for you guys, okay? First crystal is my Storm Crystal. I forget the name of this one once again, but it's actually one of my favorite crystals. And I believe that the reason why I keep forgetting it is because titles and names are insignificant. They mean nothing at the end of the day. 
Um, how does it make you feel? What does it give to you? How does it serve you? That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's the truth. So this is my, my storm crystal. However, I think this is called Orca Quartz. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's Orca Quartz. So if you feel called to work with this crystal, then that is there for you. That's group number one. Um, second one is my Tiger Cowrie Shell. This is group number two. It has a partner, which I love, but he, she is outside on my altar at this moment. That's group number two, if you choose a Tiger Cowrie. And group number three is the Serpentine Crystal. I believe that's what this one's called as well. Um, and I love this, I love this crystal a lot. It's very grounding. It's very, I always see it and I think it's rooted in tradition. It's rooted in history. It's rooted in the blood of our ancestors. It's rooted in prosperity, growth, nourishment, healing that comes from the ground, earth energy, Gaia energy. So if that's what resonates with you, then take it, take it and allow it to serve you. Okay, so that's group number three. I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in. I do not know what these cards are. I'm just allowing myself to read from them um, intuitively, but let me go ahead and put these aside. Okay, so group number one, if you chose my storm crystal or my orca quartz, I believe is what this is called, let me put this here. You have the hermit card, you have the empress, you have the king of elixirs or the king of cups, and you have three of coins, three of pentacles reversed for this week. Because this reading is general, I'm gonna navigate away from the astrological stuff um, for now. I'm probably gonna post it on Bahati Life YouTube in the blog sec section, so if you need to see that, then you can go ahead and check that out. Links are in my description box. Okay, so first thing that's standing out to me is the Empress and her chest cavity the ribs, the heart, the lungs, how they're being protected. The other thing that stands out to me is the hermit card and that flame, that candle flame. I'm also getting a space of protection. Um, something about, I'm hearing the hearth, that's the first thing that stands out to me. I'm hearing the sense of strength, I'm getting strength, I'm getting inner knowledge, um, I'm getting transformation. I'm getting a space of growth, lots of growth, especially with the Empress energy. There's so much growth that's occurring for you guys this week. Um, I feel as though this is not, it's so interesting because I feel as though you're called right now that, um, especially with the storm crystal, I'm really starting to see, it almost reminds me of the hurricanes that are currently occur happening at the time that is that I'm filming this video. I'm seeing these these storms. The storm energy has been showing up a lot lately, and I think it's because at the time of me filming this, we're definitely in hurricane season, but we're working with energy right now. And as above, so below, what's going on in the planets impacts us here on Earth, and every area of our life is constantly manifesting and materializing in some way, shape, or form. So I'm seeing this massive storm that's kind of raging, right? And I don't necessarily think that it's an, a bad thing. I don't know if it's necessarily like you crying or, you know, um, you getting triggered or fights or anything like that. Although if that is occurring, then that would make sense to you. I see this more as this ener I see this more as this energetic cleansing and this strength and this power that it is that you're stepping into that you are building. It is coming from a subconscious place. It is coming from your root, your sacral, your solar plexus. It's coming from a space of you totally cleansing and re-emerging from these past conditions, wow, um, these past conditions that have been expected of you, I'm just hearing the things that is that you've applied to your life, to yourself, and that this storm is just, you know, brewing and brewing. A lot of it was mental, it's how you perceive things. A lot of it is emotional, how you feel about things. A lot of it is internal, and I'm also um, being called to kind of recognize how sometimes, again, okay, so sometimes it's not, <laughs> spirit says, um, 
that our intuition, you know, it's not what we're attracting. I, I said this earlier this week, but it's not what we're attracting. It's what we allow ourselves to receive. I feel as though you guys are going through this massive cleansing this week. In some area of your life, it could be something so simple as cleaning out your house, cleaning out your apartment, cleaning out your altar, cleaning out your mind. I'm seeing this purge, this release. As I'm saying it, it's very uh, throat chakra and it comes from the sacral chakra. It's my self-worth. It's my my power. I speak my power. I, I speak my feelings. I speak out and it empowers me. It emboldens me. It gives more power to my voice. My appearance, my perspective, my creation, my feelings, my per all of those things. If I'm uncomfortable, I have to speak out. You're being called to speak out to empower yourself. The more that you do it, the more that spirit builds up power behind you. Lots and lots of power behind you. I feel as though um, it's very important. I just heard, don't get comfortable. <laughs> I feel it's very, well, Spirit says that it's very important for you to not get comfortable in this way, in this wave. These waves are picking up. This Your life, as you know, is picking up. It's tra transmuting is what I'm hearing. So that means that it's almost like alchemy. Um, something that shouldn't work out, something that, you know, or using what it is that you have is what you're using to create something that shouldn't work out um, or something that was, uh, I just heard it was trying to defeat you. It was working to defeat you and you somehow uh, overcome it. You um, surmount it. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what just came through. You push past it um, and it just is there to build up your power. Despite all of this, there's a space of, I'm, I'm getting the energy of the ocean of compassion, of consideration, of strength. I'm getting um, a rebirth, a reawakening. All of this is internal, internal. Um, it's in this womb space. It's best if you allow yourself to not anchor. Don't get comfortable in your way. I don't know why, but Spirit keeps saying, in your way, in this wave. The wave itself is constantly changing. So it's constantly, you know, pulling in and pushing in, you know, pulling in and then you know coming out so um, it's best if you go with that and not get too comfortable in this way that this is how it has to look um, I'm also hearing the fact that a lot of chaos this chaos this storm is stuff that you have made that's not punishment it's clarity it's recognition and it's acknowledgement it's the fact that you know we can control Okay, I just heard specific, well, tower. See what I'm saying? Don't get, don't get comfortable in the wave. This chaos is hand, it's, it's made by you. It's created by you. It's created by your hands. Um, with the hermit card, I'm seeing alchemy. Look, the emperor here and also the death card. So there's so much energy this week that is showing you that these things, these, these circumstances, you speaking up, you speaking out, you voicing your opinion. The other thing that I'm hearing is I just heard, are you protecting yourself as much as you're protecting others? Just as hard as you go for others, do you also go as hard for yourself? You have to speak up. Don't get comfortable in this one way of showing up for others. Five, six, seven, so seven of cups. Hmm. Well, I'm wondering why the Seven of Cups is showing up here. I feel like we have to focus on that later. There's going to be some supporting cards that come through for that. Um, but I'm definitely getting a space of, um, you know, power. Power definitely emerging here. I feel as though there's some things that you need to know that in this storm wave, it's best and you are blessed to... I don't want to say go it alone. I just am getting a, a space of um, independence. I'm really getting a strong energy of um, focusing on you. It's very self-focused. It's very self-centered. I just am hearing, you know, speaking up for yourself, not waiting for other people to speak up for you. The King of Cups is here, the Empress is here, the Hermit card, Death, the Emperor, the Tower. Seven of Cups is here. So let me go ahead and focus on what's going on. Focus on that energy. I feel as though, you know, Spirit is like, the Seven of Cups here. Something about Seven of Cups is, um, 
okay? I just heard it. They don't know what you want. They don't know what you want. They can't speak up for you. They, they can't, whoever they is, they, you have to speak up for yourself this, this week. You have to stand up for yourself. Not in a way that is forceful, rude, diminishing of other people and other people's power and energy because you are the goddess. You are the empress. Your healing is going to come from you speaking up from the heart, from the heart space and with the throat chakra. Let people support you, but you also should be standing up for yourself. You should be speaking up for yourself. Truth and integrity. That's what I'm saying. Truth is you speaking the truth. Integrity, integrity means that what you are saying, what you are doing is an accurate reflection of what you are feeling. What is it that you are thinking? If you are diminishing yourself, if you are not allowing yourself to speak up, if you're waiting for other people to speak up on behalf of you, you are not living up um, you know, with integrity. You're not living with integrity and that energy is felt within you. Don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. There's a big wave that's coming through. There's a storm that's been brewing. It's not that it's um, uh, chaotic. It's transformative. It's alchemy. From this space, see miracles, manifestation, and spiritual growth. It's a part of your evolution to enter into this space of speaking up root chakra, throat chakra. All of those things are being activated. And the more that you do that, the more that you speak up, the more that you address certain things, the more... And that's the other thing too, is that you're creating an illusion of what is comfortable or that you are comfortable or that you are happy or that everything is working out or that this is right. I'm just about to hear the word belong, but I don't think that that's actually the word that was coming through. If you allow people to believe that it is okay, then they are going to continue as if it's okay. Don't expect people to understand that you are uncomfortable if you are not speaking out for yourself if you're not speaking your truth if you're not voicing your opinion see what i'm saying there's so these flower cards are coming through really really strong this week is truly about you standing firm in yourself that's the other thing too spirit is saying that you speaking up is not an act of defiance you know that will be punished or lashed out upon it or at least it shouldn't be spirit is saying that we have given you a voice and we want you to be empowered it is best and you know good for the greater good if you are able to release if you're able to speak comfortably if you're allowed to voice your opinion if you're allowed to express your needs the other thing that I'm seeing is time to decide and stand by your commitments this also is connecting to the seven of cups that some of you guys have been almost diminishing your power and refusing to decide refusing to take the first step refusing to commit to yourself, to this path, to this journey, to this relationship, out of fear of how it would impact other people. And people, what's bad is the fact that people are assuming that you are okay in that and the reality is, is that you're not. Spirit is saying we want to totally diminish that, we want to totally destroy that. It's not okay. If, if the universe is meant to create harmony and balance for everyone, then you are absolutely factored into this. Okay, so open your heart also came up for you and open your arms to receiving. This is your highest and greatest good, your heart. If you sit with yourself, if you open your heart, if you allow yourself to be in this sacred space, you will listen to your heart and hear that it has certain needs, certain specific needs. And I don't think that you're going to get that by waiting from other people. It's I'm hearing um, people are assuming they're assuming that you're comfortable. They're assuming that it's that it's all right, that everything is good. Um, and it's just simply, I just don't think that that's necessarily the case. Also, I'm feeling like for a lot of you guys, you have to speak out to the universe and tell the universe specifically, this is what I want and I want to manifest this, this miracle, this, um, this, you know, this thing, this, this desire that's in your heart, the empress, the emperor, the death card, the hermit card, the three of pentacles, it feels as though in your brain, you're saying it feels as though, you know, it's not going to work out or that I'm doing a disservice or maybe I'm not ready. You are ready. Um, it's, it's just, you know, it's very, and I, that's the other thing too. I'm seeing, um, how much stronger you become just by speaking out, just by voicing your opinion, just by putting it out there for the universe. Let's get some heart romance angels cards coming through. Okay. So these cards are here. See what I'm saying? Let your friends help you was reversed. I feel as though, and it's bringing me to this three of 
Three of Pentacles here. Some of you guys are really waiting for other people to show up for you. Um, and I just don't see that. Just a second, I'm sorry. It's not that they don't want to, it's just they can't, they don't know your truth, they don't know your vibe. It's it's your responsibility, you know. It's real spirit is really opening the door, especially with the death card here, for you to speak up and speak out. It would be um, detrimental to you if you just held it all in. Um, it's not again. It's not that there's not a lot of support around you. There is. It's just very important that you, you know, put it out there, speak it out there. The next card we have are heart to heart conversations and new love. So, by you speaking out, by you expressing yourself. Don't be concerned about how, how other people are going to receive it, what they're going to think, what they're going to say, the gossip, the rumors, none of that even matters. It opens the door. It will always open the door to new, to abundance, um, to you receiving, to you accepting more, and people understanding exactly where it is that you're coming from and exactly what your needs are. And I'm also hearing and smelling fruit and honey and berries and, um, and flowers and those types of things. So there's a fragrance here. Um, that you're to receive okay um also we have flirt and we have the wedding card this shows me that there are certain things that you will actually attract especially with open your arms to receiving and opening your heart there are certain things that you will attract simply just by speaking up uh, by not waiting for others to call the shots okay we want to we want to create more clarity um here for you so that's what i see for my storm crystals my Orca Quartz. Beautiful message. Let's move on to number two, shall we? Text messages. Oh, man. All right. So, for those that chose group number two or the Tiger Cowry Shell, I just heard, raise your value. <laughs> that was quickly. Raise your value. Raise your value. They have it. They just don't want to give it. Or they want to give it. And they want to get it for less. Raise your value. Who are you aligning with? Who are you partnering up with? Who are you accepting to come into your space i'm looking at the seven of pentacles i'm looking at the eight of wands i'm hearing raise your value spirit is coming through really really strong with this um group right now almost very forceful actually very strong very persistent very masculine raise your value they have it they have what you want they want to give you less I don't know what that means, but the High Priestess is here as well, and also the Fool card. They're not ignorant. They know. And you're not ignorant. You know. Intuitively, you know. Knowing that, raise your value. What do you get by offering, by accepting less? You get less. You get diminished. Your joy is decreased. Your value is decreased. Spirit does not want that for you. You know that. These are things that are coming through. Eight of Cups, there's something that you're needing to release. There's something that you need to let go of. Wake up. Wake up quickly this week. Um, this is not, again, Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing on your... Once you... It's very quick, too, especially with the Eight of Wands here. When you raise your value, when you speak your worth, when you do not settle for less, it's immediate. It's a karmic choice decision that it is that you're called to make this week as far as what is it that you will allow. Wheel of Fortune just wants to keep coming up. Wheel of Fortune just really wants to keep coming up. Something about this Wheel of Fortune card is standing out to me though. Just give me a second. Some of you guys with the Eight, the eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, this is 10 and 8. Some of you guys are being called. Um, this is gonna. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> um, some of you guys are really being called to move on. 
spirit is not saying that you trick people, that you deceive them, but it's almost as if, if you state that you are moving on, if you state that you are choosing, moving on also, like I've, spirit is really saying for me to clarify, um, moving on means that you, when you know better, you do better, so you do better. So that's what I mean by moving on. It's like you're not going to operate from this old way of doing things. I'm also getting a vision of people putting the knife down. That means that you are lowering your defenses. You are not showing up to the fight. You are not engaging in negativity. You are allowing things to be blocked from you and allowing you to be blocked from certain things. It's in an effort to protect your energy. It's an act of choice. It's a, a point of recognition. I don't know what that means. Um, a point of recognition is, is it's about your evolution. It's about your karma. It's about you stepping into this higher sense of self. Spirit is acknowledging the fact that sometimes it's easier for people to go the, the lesser route. Sometimes it's easier for people to go the easy way. Sometimes the easy way is not a lot of times the easy, well, in this case, the easy way is not the best way. It would be the lower vibrational way. Some of you guys are really um, quick to get provoked. You know better, but when, again, you know better, you do better. Um, I'm also hearing, uh, don't penalize yourself. Um, don't penalize yourself for or punish yourself at this point in your life, in this, at this, at where, wherever it is that you're at right now. Don't look at this as um, a, a, a punishment. Don't look at this as you being penalized, look at it as a chance for you to evolve. Even with the Fool card here, there's a space of, I don't see it, so I'm going to ignore it. I'm gonna pretend like it doesn't exist. And especially with the High Priestess, it says, just don't, just don't do it. Seven of Pentacles too says, you do see it, you do acknowledge it. In fact, we want you to oversee it, hypersee it. Not that you overly critique it or that you beat it up with your awareness. But the fact that you, I'm getting the space of surrender because I'm also seeing the sword getting um, getting dropped. Okay, so chakra clearing and your wishes are coming true. All it takes is a spiritual bath. <laughs> All it takes is a sage cleansing. All it takes is an energy alignment for the miracle to come through the seed. I'm saying purification. This is what the Eight of Cups, it, I don't see the Eight of Cups here, but its energy is around. It's about being very mindful and observant about what is trying to come through, what is trying to access you. If they, if they didn't see your value, why do they want it so much? If they didn't see your value, if they didn't know your worth, why do they want it so badly? Knowing that, do not allow yourself to settle for less than what it is that you deserve. Raise it up. Raising yourself up especially a purification, chakra clearing, and your wishes are coming true, you are right on the verge of a breakdown. Some of you guys, I just heard meltdown as I was saying breakdown. Some of you guys feel as though you are melting down. Some of you guys feel as though you're having these mental breakdowns. And the reality is it's not, it's your ego melting. It's your ego being put under fire. Or you're dealing with people who are having meltdowns, breakdowns, and, and stuff of that nature. Let them you still, if this is them clearing out their energies, this is them clearing out their karma, you have to be very mindful about what it is that you are trying to uh, uni uh, unite with. What are you trying to align with? What are you trying to synchronize with? Yeah, you are healed. It's just literally you guys are in this space of total healing, knowing that, especially with the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is really coming through as a lot of transformation, you guys, a lot of transformation. Um, actually, let me go ahead and work with the healing with the angels cards. Wow. Some of this could be with friendships. Some of this is people who you feel comfortable with, you have alliances with. Yeah, meditation. I'm feeling a, a purging, a release, especially with the eight. The eight of wands is really standing out to me. Also, is that calendula? I feel like it is. Calendula is the, the herb of healing, the flower of healing. It's a salve on your spirit, on your energy. And I can't tell you enough since all of this is evolution. Wow, there's so much evolution this week, which makes a lot of sense with, with all the retrogrades and Mars square Uranus. I'm sorry, Mars square Saturn. 
sun moving through the sign of Virgo now, Mercury in the sign of Virgo at the time of me filming this. There's, it's really about discernment. It's really about quality. It's really about requiring the best for yourself because to allow it into your life and allow you to consume it, to digest it, would be toxic and poisonous to your being and then you would be good for nothing. And that's not how spirit sees you at all. Okay, that's all that you're getting when it comes to the healing, the angel healing cards. I am hearing again, raise your value. They know what you're worth. They know what's up. Sometimes saying nothing says everything. It means that, again, I'm seeing you guys lowering your weapons. You're not lowering your guard. You're not allowing just anything in. It's the fact that you are not engaging in... Bullcrap. Yeah. Yeah. So this is coming through. Your wishes are coming true. Stay optimistic about your love life and healing family issues. Again, there's this space like, you know, when you make this choice, you have all these cards here suggesting that there is positive changes that are occurring, positive changes that are happening here. But when you are doing that, you can't bring the past with you. You can't bring things that are baggage with you into this new future, especially with the Fool card. In fact, spirit has almost intercepted your step spirit has almost intercepted the next step so it says before you take and this will happen literally you guys overnight um is what it is that i'm saying once you take this first step with the eight of wands with the full card when you flip this over you have to see it first cleanse your energy cleanse out the problems cleanse out the discomfort the discord Lower the weapon, which means I don't engage in that anymore. It's easy to engage in it. Go back to what it was I just said in the very beginning of this video. Well, in the very beginning of your card that, you know, some of you guys are almost getting triggered by these old things, um, these old ways that you're so accustomed to doing, especially with healing family issues. These could be generational curses and ways of reacting to certain things, these habits that spirit says, break free of that and have discernment um, and use clear judgment for how you react to certain stuff because what you are asking for with the wheel of fortune with the eight of wands with the seven of pentacles it's li literally here but before you enter into this next stage especially wheel of fortune this is the card of karma and, and destiny and new birth and new beginnings having with all that you have attained and all that you've all the lessons and growth that you've experienced up until this point, all of it was your spiritual growth. So before you move into this next step, Spirit has actually put you on pause um, really quickly just to energetically cleanse yourself. So do a bath soak. I'm also seeing you guys working with Calendula. Um, purify your energy. Use uh, certain crystals. Use bells. Clap you know, over your chakras just to awaken it again and to release it, to let it go. And be very discerning about what it is that you are again allowing yourself to receive engage in consume interact with not everything needs to be there not everybody is your friend especially with the friendship card here it's this space of comfortability that uh spirit currently at the time is challenging and also there's this big as it's interesting when i heard when i said clap i was hearing clapping um you know of the angels so there's a lot of uh, six of wands energy that i'm feeling which is uh celebrating your journey celebrating how far you've come celebrating the fact that you actually have the ability to see that it's a problem before you repeat the pattern so spirit is very very proud of you and says listen she or he or whomever has come a long way in their journey they are way stronger than they were before we are so proud of you we see your strength we see even your posture has changed your energy has changed you really are stepping into this very firm you know strong position of being it comes from the spine and it aligns everything so if that is truly the case what are you aligning with because you don't want to get crooked again okay um i don't want to put pressure on you but it does go pretty deep when it comes to generational curses and those types of things so spirit doesn't want to see you take steps backwards they want you to move forward okay so moving on to the next deck the next cards I have for a lot for group number three, which is the Serpentine Crystal. We have nine of Pentacles. <laughs> okay.
Okay, group number three. Mm. Group number three, I feel so emotional with this with this one, I really do. As soon as I see six of I just I don't even I was looking at these cards, I'll tell you what they are in a second, but I just feel as though angels, I can even feel it in my hands. They're putting their hands, their arms forward. It's, a, it's not even a regular angel, it's an archangel, and it says, lay back. I need you to lay back. And that you are going to need to feel the strength of the archangels holding your back, defending your back, protecting you. Um, there's an acknowledgement of, you know, I guess where you're at, how you've been feeling, what you've been dealing with. It could be health related, it could be heart related, it could be life, it could be movement, how you've moved up until this point, how far you've come. You're, you are really needing to call in the strength of the Archangels, Archangel Michael specifically. Um, I'm getting a sense that it's not that you are spiritually unprotected, it's you're very spiritually protected. It's not that something bad is going to happen, it's the fact that you need, spirit wants you to feel supported right now. There's a space of um, relief that you need to feel. There's a space of being held uh, spiritually. There's a strong, strong space of spiritual holding. It's one thing to be emotionally held, mentally held, physically held, but spiritually held. Um, there's a space, I'm hearing a level, like leveling up. I feel for this group, you guys are the group that has, have been sharing their light the most, meaning that you have been helping others a lot. You've been of service a lot. You've been working a lot. You've been showing up for others a lot. Maybe I'm also hearing some of you guys have moved. Some of you guys have actually moved because I'm feeling the weight, the pull, the stretch on the back. Um, it's like you've been lifting things, lifting, like doing hard labor. Um, if you haven't physically moved, you have spiritually moved. Next card is Four of Wands. Yeah, see, I have to breathe through this group because there is um, rest that needs to happen. It's spiritual rest. It's not something that gets fixed with a massage. It's not something that gets fixed by going to the ocean one day. It's not something that gets fixed by you eating clean for a week or a month. It's a spiritual, a spiritual restrengthening. It's almost like Olaplex for you, like how Olaplex is the, to the hair. Do you, if you guys know about Olaplex, leave it down in the comments. This is the rebuilding. It's like Olaplex for your spirit, like a spiritual reconstruction. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Wow, Justice card. See what I'm saying? This is so big. Five of Swords, Reverse. This is so epic. This energy is so epic. I have, with the Knight of Cups, I'm seeing, it's funny, it says tonic, fertility tonic. Some of you guys, some, maybe some of you guys have been pregnant, but some of you guys are really needing certain med medicines, tonics, uh, power foods, power foods journaling, cleansings, not, you could be sitting in the bathtub and doing those types of, like, those types of energy cleansings. Um, I just see things that restore your energy, things that refill your cup back up. Um, spirit is really coming through, especially with the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. It says, rely on me. 
I almost feel as though I can stop this reading and that is your message. Rely on me. Rely on me. I am your home. I am your sanctuary. I will give to you. I will give to you everything. There are so many lessons that you are still trying to learn and to master with the justice card here. There are so many things that you are trying to understand why they occurred, why they happened, make sense of it all give logic to it. There is no logical explanation. There is no comfort that we can give to you um, that is going to soothe your human nature. It's a spiritual rest. It's a spiritual restoration that's going to help you to um, let this go, to lay it to rest. Um, Spirit says, rely on me. Rely on me. Rely on me to fix it. Rely on me to heal this. Rely on me to make this better for you. Rely on me to create this change. Rely on me. Have a conversation with me. Speak to me. Trust me. Come back to me. Speak to me. I want to hear from you. It's you've left me. Like there's this uh, really strong energy of you left though. Spirit says, I never left you. I never left you. I never abandoned you. I never walked away from you during this journey. It's That's what we're saying, is that it's not going to logically make sense to your human being nature. It's an energy. It's a spiritual evolution. There's an a, a apologetic um, vibe here that says, we know that you have been doing the most. We know that you have been giving the most. Um, we want you to be seen by us. We want you to see that you are being seen by us. We actually want you to, to know that not only do we see you and acknowledge you, but we are staring at you, meaning that you have our full 100% focus. This is a really... Um, your spirit is going to feel so light like so soon um you're going to have a breakthrough you're going to re-emerge is what i'm hearing it's going to spiritually make sense but logically the spiritual side of you is going to trump the logical emotional mental sides of you so all those pieces of the puzzle are going to fall through there's a lot of you guys who need who are doing energy cleansing this week um, it makes sense if, when I pull the chart. Absolutely. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about healing, energetically healing. I gotta watch my time. I keep going back to Archangel Michael kind of showing up and saying, fall back on me, fall back. It's literally like these hands are show up and support you. So it's almost like you um, recline into Archangel Michael's hands and power. Um, I'm also seeing you guys physically recreating this um, while you are resting somewhere. So maybe you are reclined, like you visualize and you call in Archangel Michael. It's the archangels. It's not little, the not that there's lower uh, angels or anything like that, but it's not you know these like. It's Archangel. It's the powerful, the ones that are closest to God. And the reason why is because you guys have gone through the most, especially with the Justice card here. So I'm almost seeing you guys recreating it and visualizing and calling in Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, or Archangel Shemuel, um, saying, you know, calling them in and saying, I need to rest back into you. I'm going to recline into your hands. Catch me. Hold me. And you are going to recreate that. Some of you guys, it feels like a weighted blanket. Um, you're like wrapping yourself in a weighted blanket so you could feel that, feel the weight of it and visualize it on a spiritual, you know, feel it on a spiritual, spiritual realm. Okay, that's all that you guys are getting for healing. So let's go ahead and see what these cards are. Meditation, spiritual growth. Every single, every single one of the groups got the same card, spiritual growth and meditation. I'm also hearing a lot about reclining. So there's some type of energetic leveling up, massive leveling up that is happening this week. It is an energetic, we're all feeling it. We're all under the same same, same wavelength. I'm feeling like if you pick this group, you guys have in some way been the very, very much the leaders 
um, not only have you been handling your shit, you've been handling other people's shit, and or people are watching you, or people are observing you, or you are just like, or there's some type of like massive leadership that's uh, standing out to me. So you guys have been needing the most emotional healing, the bleeding heart. It's safe. It's safe. For you to let go of old emotional pain by doing so you allow your heart to mend that's what i'm saying spirit archangel michael you guys are really having these power these power i don't know why i just heard power complex but you're having these powerful vibes um coming through also i feel really called to share with you guys sandalwood water so energetic cleansing water that you can use in order to cl cleanse your energy um cleanse your spirit while this sp spiritual growth sandalwood is such a high vibrational wood you guys it's such a high vibrational wood. It not, not only does it help to clear out your chakras, but it helps you to manifest. It helps you to have relief. It helps you to relax, to restore your energy. Um, it's very, very positive. Very, very, um, I was gonna say exotic, which it is, but outside of that, it is it's very sacred, a very sacred wood. Um, unity, you're spiritually connect, connected to everyone through God. Use this sacred bond to heal your family, your family, your friends, and yourself. I actually feel as though you've already done that. That's what I'm, I'm seeing is that you guys have been a, a champion uh, for others. I'm hearing the word um, pervade, pervade, pervade. Hold on. Hmm. A person who sells or deals in particular goods, a person or group that spreads or promotes an idea of you. This is what I'm saying. You guys have been like a, um, you guys have been the voice of the people. This leadership, people, people are looking towards to change their perspective. People that people go to, and that's good. But it, spirit says, come back, rest on me, take time for yourself. See what I'm saying? Enjoy your relaxation and activities that nurture your soul. I feel like something's missing. Okay, let's talk about. I feel like there's more cards that need to come through for this group. Um, and I'll also shuffle from the Romance Angels for you guys. But just take a deep breath. I feel like there's an additional message here that this group needs to hear. existence you guys no nothing that is negative nothing that is superficial nothing that seems charming on the outside but it's just an illusion it's got to go clap it out of your energy this group is to be blessed this group is to receive the highest in love energy vibration this group is meant to breathe in to be supported to have stability to have a strong foundation to have everlasting love not that it's not for the others but this group right here the lovers the king of pentacles is coming through there is so much that spirit with the king of pentacles it can be an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn it's not that it's necessarily the earth sign. It's the fact that you have needed something stable in your life for so long and spirit wants to acknowledge that, to give that to you, not because you've deserved it, but because you have done so much out of a space of love, light, high vibrational being, living, to the point where you have felt defeated, alone, isolated, unprotected, abandoned. Meanwhile, 
you're working on healing your inner child wounds, rerouting yourself into healthier situations, healthier environments, at what cost you have been running out in the field looking for your new beginning, recreating this new beginning, recreating this new life, recreating, taking these steps. Um, mass go for some of you guys, you're getting your master's degree, your doctorate, you're achieving all of these high awards. If it's not, um, if it's not just, um, if it's not um, educational, it's spiritual. You guys, my bird is going off right now for this group. You guys have done so much. You guys have done so much in spirit. It's not that it's a reward. It's the fact that how could you not unify? There's also, I'm hearing and feeling that the person that you are supposed to be connecting with, it's almost like twin flame. They, are, they have also gone through the same stuff as you only in their way so you guys actually are meant to align together to strengthen together to anchor to each other 111 on the clock i just looked 111 on the clock you guys are meant to come together you guys are meant to find each other when you do this energy cleansing especially with the justice card with this um, elixir that's been coming through the four of wands when you guys are coming together you're actually uni uni unifying you've been such a champion for others a person that everyone goes to everyone's getting the same cards lately but you've been such a champion for others now it's time for you to um, you know really get into a space of cleansing your energy of that restoring your energy falling back into spirits arms so that you can attract a new level of love and vibration. If you guys are single or in a, or if you guys are in a relationship already, you're married or whatever, it's not necessarily that you're going to be attracting new love. It's just going to be new type, a new energy within the relationship coming from this heart to heart conversations. So it's really being in a space of we understand that the journey up until this point has been so uh, long, tumultuous. Some people will be like, well, you don't know what I've been through. I'm like, I'm hearing this. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know how long it took me to get here. And they say that, but it's only been a year. This is the group that it's been way longer than just a year. And if you guys are, if your hard times have been in just this year alone, this, you have to shuffle. This is not the group. I don't know how, how you even got here. No offense. But this is lifelong. This is the group that it goes longer than just this year. This is not just, oh yeah, 2020 sucked. That's cute. 2020 sucked for everybody, but some of you guys have been on this journey way longer than others, and that needs to be recognized and acknowledged. They are not the same. The journeys are not the same. It's not the same level. Don't even try to make it that it is. It's not. There's no comparison. Okay, one more thing. Breathe. See, even now, like, Spirit is coming through and says that's exactly what she needed. What is going on? These cards are really pulling out the same thing. Study, see? Study and support. There's a lot of support around you. And some of you guys have actually been studying. You guys have been mastering. That's what I'm talking about. Your masters, your doctors, your spiritual leveling up. We have friendship guardian angel see what i'm saying you guys had the archangels and then signs so there's signs all around you showing that you are attracting showing that things are changing this week look for the signs 111 is a big one okay 111 is a big one okay my loves so i'm going to send you my love my blessing um if there is anything that you guys need to hear, know, receive from me. It's nine times out of ten on home base, which is bahadilife.com. Sacred Circle Tarot School is going to be enrolling soon or re-enrolling and rolling out this new platform for those of you guys that will need to learn study <laughs> the tarot uh, a little deeper. I'm there for you. I'm available to you. And um, outside of that, you know, you can find me on Instagram. Please be blessed. Please take care of yourself. I'm sending you guys all of my love. And I'll see you in my next video.